Hello, welcome back to another video. Right, so following on from my Vantage RGB speakers I got from Home Bargains last week, I now have one of these. Now this is also by Vantage, and it is a Dark Knight Elite RGB soundbar. Now again, I'm thinking, do I really need it? And I thought, you know what, yeah, because I'm gonna be using this on this new TV I bought here. I might do a video on that. It's by RCA and it's quite a bit of a weird buy. If it's off Amazon, it's a cheap telly and it's just, it's a bit weird. So I might make a video on it, but today's video is all about this. Now it's an RGB soundbar or an RGB gaming soundbar by Vantage. Now, as I said in the past, I don't think this is a home bargains own brand. It just says made in China, uh, Belfast, Liverpool, um, it doesn't say anything that sort of links home bargains to this product. So, as always, uh, like I said with the RGB speakers, what got me sort of like interested in it was the packaging. Now, the packaging looks like a very sort of other famous branded gaming uh, related article, should we say. And um, it just sort of like, yeah, it, it, it just sort of grabbed me in. $14.99 and also what I bought with it is an RGB gaming mat as well um, which I don't know if it's worth doing a video on it it's just a gaming mouse mat uh, it plugs in and it's RGB is it worth it I don't know I might just add it to the end of this video that was seven pound so technical specifications on this uh, input is five volts output power is two times three watts because it's got two speakers Frequency 100 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Signal to noise ratio is 45 decibels. Speaker size is two times 50 millimeters. Speaker independence is four, is it ohms? Home, ohms? That little sort of, you can just, you can't really see it because the, no. Dimensions is 440 width, 83 depth and 88 millimeters high. Uh, the weight is 590 grams. Cable length is 1.2 meters. Cables included. Now it's USB powered and it is compatible with Mac, PC, tablet, TV. Now again, I'm seeing this thing called MP5. I always thought MP5 was a gun. Uh, should that say MP3? I don't know. So yeah, that's a bit weird. Uh, stereo sound, light mode, touch control and it's got a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. So um, it's compatible with devices with, with that port. Um, so we have an on and off switch and a volume dial on the front. We have a light mode touch control on the top and we have five color changing light modes. So without further ado, let's get this unboxed and see what we've got inside. All right, so okay, let's cut these tabs away. Instructions, Vantage Dark Knight Elite RGB gaming soundbar, made in China, uh, TJM Limited Liverpool and TJM Limited Belfast. So I don't know, no, it's definitely, definitely not Home Bargain's own product, should we say. It's not like B&M where they sort of own Goodman's, uh, just that, nothing else in the box there. Let's shove the box out the way, take all this bubble wrap off. Here we have presented the Vantage, looked upside down, the Vantage RGB soundbar. Now, like when I opened the RGB speakers, uh, on general sort of feeling, it does feel cheap, plasticky. The plastic feels very, not brittle, but it just feels, it's just got that cheapness about it. The dial on the front actually doesn't feel too bad. Clicky off, clicky on. You've got two speakers either side and you've got a little sort of icon for the top for your RGB light settings. And around the back, you just have a 
power output and audio output or audio input I should say uh, via that so you can actually take them away so that's inbuilt which uh, it's not really a problem like but it just would have been nice to have the option just to not sort of have the cables you know soldered directly to the board like so there we go there's the USB power for the machine and then the 3.5 millimeter jack as well so as I say it's going to be used primarily on this TV here um, mainly for flight sim I want flight sim sort of sounding a little bit better so uh, let's just go through the well actually yeah do you know what I'll just I'll just pick up something here I'll just pick up something that's right so okay right it says there as you can clearly see Mac PC tablet TV and MP5 now it says that on the speakers as well but if you actually look on the instructions so it says connect the 3.5 millimeter audio cable to the playback source PC and MP3. I don't know how well you can see that because it is slightly bright. Let me just lower that down. Um, it's just lower. So, yeah, we could have a bit of a spelling mistake there. Nothing major, but you know, it's just something that I picked up on. MP5 just stood out like, well, stood out like friggin' like an MP5. So what we're going to do, we're going to connect it to the TV in front of me and uh, we're going to see how this baby sounds. Right, okay, so a quick change of plan. I've just found out that the TV I bought has not got a headphone jack. So we'll have to use the XP build, which is not a bad thing actually because it could primarily be getting used for that now. It's not a major issue. So we've got Outrun running through the Gens emulator and it runs beautifully. We want to switch this on. Now this little icon where the finger is, is for the different RGB modes. As you can see now, it is slowly cycling through um, a, a fade in and fade out sort of thing. You know, so touch that one and you get red, green, blue and off. And we've got the whole spectrum of colors cycling there. Let's just go back to, you've got is that pink, red, green, blue, and then off. So I wonder if you keep hold of it, can you? Yeah, so it's just, it's quite responsive actually. You know, it's, it is quite a nice touch thing. So we'll leave it like that. We'll leave it to cycle of colors. The main sort of test now is in this sound. So, Tell you what we'll do we'll come out of outrun and i'll load a game which is very very musically addictive should we say and it is sonic the hedgehog one Right, okay, so the initial sound does actually sound quite crisp, quite nice, not too bassy. But you know, for $14.99, you know, you can't really expect much to be honest with you. Uh, we'll let it run because there's some nice music in this. So let's just get close to the mic. Whenever you're filming stuff like this, like I've said in the past, it's quite hard to make it come across in audio how good it sounds you've just got to sort of rely on the person that's reviewing it or stuff like that but you know for 14.99 um it, it's it's not bad it's not the best it's not bad it's 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 cheaply made it feels cheap um 
but it's not that bad in all honesty. I'm hoping I can get this under there as well. I think if I mess around with this monitor because it slides up and down and stuff like that, I can slide it in there. Um, I was hoping to use it, as I say, with the uh, with the flight simulator, but the telly was a cheap telly. It's uh, for the price I paid for it. Um, as I say, I'll probably do a video on it because it is a bit a bit of a weird one, like. But uh, as I say, yeah, it'll be used for. It's going to get used for something. It's not going to go to waste. We'll just let it load again because the bonus level music I quite like. So what we're going to do? I'm just going to play that and uh, we'll wrap this video up today. But it runs beautifully on this on this PC. Sega. This one. What an absolutely, I'm going to say it, beautiful piece of music. That is just like one of the best sort of in-game musics I've, I've heard for quite a while. So what we'll do is we'll quit out of that. Um, let me just see before I say goodbye. Let's try and play something which is a little less... I can't play Limp Bizkit, all copyrighted stuff. Um, something that maybe is not sort of copyrighted and maybe Amiga music because I like to play Amiga music all the time because it is bloody fantastic music. So let's just go for do 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 quick think 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 think. Let's go for this one, the Lotus Two intro uh, music, Barry Leach. Now that is at full volume and there is no break up from these speakers but the volume is down on media player so crank it up. Sound wise it's quite impressive, it, it holds the sound, it, it doesn't break up, it doesn't crackle, it just goes up to the highest it can go and it just stays there no problem at all. So we're going to try one more. It's, ah, this is a beautiful piece of music, this. Beautiful. Now this is from Amiga Remix. It's um, Shadow of the Beast 2. I think it's been remixed. But what an amazing, amazing, amazing tune. Listen to that. Break up at all. Full vault. I'm getting slight crackling from that, but to be fair, it is at, is at maximum volume. You've got the full maximum volume on media player, you've got the maximum volume on that. And you've also got the maximum volume from the PC motherboard coming at you. So it's got two audio sources thrown at it. It's not, it's not a major. And I don't really play things at full volume anyway. So we're going to try one more. I'm going to try one more. See what I've got on here. Uh, we have Liam Gallagher. Oh, yeah, here we go. This one, uh, yeah, the Lost in Service cannon fodder. You know where they all, where you complete the level and there's all crosses and stuff.
is quite impressive. And a classic, a classic piece of music by none other than, I'm pretty sure John Hare wrote that because he made a song out of it and it's got lyrics and everything and it is fantastic. And he always plays it at shows, so yeah. Um, yeah, so that was the Vantage Elite Dark Knight, uh, Elite Plus Dark Knight RGB Gaming Soundbar. And just before I do a bugger off, here is the Vantage Gigantics Elite RGB Light Up Gaming Mouse Pad. Now, I probably won't do a video on that because there's no point in all honesty. It's just a gaming mat and it just lights up like the Vantage sort of RGB soundbar. Um, so there's no real point in making a video on it. This was eight pound and it has 13 color changing light modes. And I do believe at the back of it is a button that you press and it cycles through. So um, I have got an RGB gaming mat off uh, my good friend Neil, which was donated to me a few weeks ago. That is still in operation. What I'm also thinking now, or why I bought that, is because that is for the XP build. Now, when I play Flight Sim on the Xbox, I like to use a mouse and stuff like that. So I could have that one Neil gave me over there. And instead of pulling it across when I play Flight Sim, I could just leave it there and have this one rolled out right in front of me. I can put my flight stick on it and I could use the mouse and stuff like that. So yeah, there's no real point in doing a video on that, but that is, an, uh, that is one of these, the series. Home Bargains do also sell a complete setup as well. So they sell a mouse. I think it's a mat and a keyboard and stuff like that. I don't need it. It's not wireless, it's wired and it's 24.99. I think I'll put a picture of it now uh, when I filmed it. But yeah, so yeah, that was it, uh, the Elite. Dark Knight Elite by Vantage. I would recommend it if you're a serious gamer and you're a hardened gamer, you're looking at going, you cheap little bastard. I don't care, but I'm not really a serious uh, PC gamer yet. But yeah, if you're just starting out and you're on a budget, I would recommend to get one of them. So, as always, cheers for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Nice shooting, son. What's your name? Siri.